Hello everyone, Jake here with Unreal RPG Mastery. In the last video we created the base equipment, so in this video we're going to cover attaching the weapon to the character's hand. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, and go to Input, and we'll add a new action mapping, we'll call this one Toggle Combat. We'll make this the R key. Okay, now go to the combat character, and we need to add the Toggle combat input action. Before we can attach the weapon to the character's hand, we need to promote the weapon to a variable and store it. So to do that, just create a new variable, make this a top base weapon, and we'll call this one main weapon. So as soon as the weapon spawns, we're gonna set the variable main weapon, and then we're gonna call on equipped. Now get the weapon and we can call attach actor. So let's go ahead and create the hand socket. Select the character, go to skeletal mash and go to his hand bone. Right click and select add socket. And the socket that we need to add is going to be the weapon socket. Okay, now add a preview asset and we need to add the tough sword. And now we need to position the weapon in the character's hand. Okay, now that you've done that, we can copy the weapon socket name, put that in here. Let's test it out, press R, it puts the weapon in the character's hand. Okay, now let's do that with an animation. And the way we're going to do that with an animation is with an animation notify. Let's go to the combat system folder and let's create a new folder and call it anim notifies. Okay, now open that up and we'll create a new blueprint class. And we'll search here for anim notify. And we'll call this one attach weapon actor underscore am for anim notify. Open it up and we need to override the receive notify function. Inside the receive notify function, we need to drag out from the mesh component and get the owner. Okay, and from the owner, we need to cast to combat character. Okay, and from there, we need to get the main weapon and check is the main weapon valid? If the main weapon is valid, then we need to attach actor. We need the socket name, so for that we can get socket name, we get attach socket name. We also need a hand socket name, so we can add that to the base weapon. So create a new variable. We'll name this one hand socket name. We'll put this in the initialization category. Now go back to the animation notify and we can get hand socket name. Then we can do a select node and the selector type will be Boolean. Promote the Boolean to a variable. We'll make this one attach to hand. So if the Boolean is true, we attach the weapon to the character's hand. If it is false, we attach it to the regular attach socket. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to go find the animation. So go to course files, animations, and when you go to the draw and sheath animations and create montages for both. Now let's open up draw. In this animation, the character should be attaching the weapon to their hand. So at this point in the animation, I'm going to call it animation notify. And the one I'm going to call is the one that we created, which is the attach weapon actor underscore an. And the boolean that we created doesn't show up here. So what we're going to have to do to get that to show up is to select this eye icon and expose it. Compile and save. Now when we go back to the animation notify and the details panel, you can see attached to hand, it shows up. So we need to check that to be true. Okay, and now open up the disarm animation. In this animation, the character should be attaching the weapon back to their side. So at this point in the animation, I'm going to add a notify, attach weapon, and I'm gonna leave attached to hand as false. Okay, and now instead of calling attach actor, I'm going to play in a montage. The animation montage that I'm going to play is the draw animation montage. Okay, and now after we've done that, we need to go to the tough sword and we need to set the hand socket name. The hand socket name that we created is called weapon socket. So I'm going to copy that and paste that here. Okay, now let's test it out and see how it works. And the character pulls his weapon out and attaches it to his hand. We want him to be able to put his weapon on the side, but right now all you can do is draw his weapon. So what we're going to do is 
we're going to need to create a variable inside the base weapon and this will be of type boolean and we'll call this one is attached now we need to get the main weapon we need to check is it valid if it is valid then we need to check is attached to hand and then we need a not boolean so if the weapon is not attached to the character's hand then we need to attach the weapon to the character's hand and set is attached to hand to true the weapon is attached to the character's hand. We need to set is weapon attached to hand to false. And we need to play the disarm animation. Okay, compile and save, and let's test that out. Okay, seems like everything's working. He draws his weapon, and he also puts his weapon away. As you may have noticed, there's an issue here of the character's feet sliding. To fix that, we need to add an upper and lower body blend to the animation blueprint. So let's go ahead and do that now. Select the character mesh. In the details here in anim class, we need to browse to asset, and then we can open up the animation blueprint. And here what we need to do is create a save cache pose. We'll call this one main states. And this is a saved cache pose of the character's main state. Basically a save cache pose is just something that you can save and then you can use in other places. Okay, now we need a layered blend per bone. And in the layer blend per bone, we need to plug main states in the base pose and plug that in here to the default slot. And then for blend pose zero, we need to you need to copy the default slot and paste it here. And with it selected over here in the details panel, under slot name, we need to select default group upper body. If you don't have an upper body slot, you can you can select window and you can select anim slot manager and it'll show the anim slot manager and you can just add a new slot and call it upper body. Now that you've done that, copy the cache pose main states and plug that into the source of the upper body slot. Okay, now let's modify the layer blend per bone. What we need to do is we need to create some branch filters. I'm gonna make this one for spine underscore one. The blend depth is gonna be four. Okay, now we need to create a new branch filter, thigh underscore R. And the blend depth for this one is gonna be minus one. Okay, let's create another one. And this one's gonna be thigh underscore L. And the blend depth for this one is going to be minus one. Compile and save. And now let's go to the animations. And for the slot, we want to select upper body. And do the same thing for the other animation. Okay, now let's test it out and see how it works. So now the character can walk and draw and sheath his weapon at the same time. In this video, we implemented attaching the weapon to the character and added functionality to draw and sheath the weapon. We also implemented an upper body blend. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we create character interaction.